Glass animals. How to be a human being. Oh, I've been awaiting this album for so long. I, I was hyped because I loved Zaba. That was so tropical, very watery production, I guess you could say. When I say watery, I mean like it kind of has those sounds of watered droplets. I thought the production on that album was awesome and, you know, I wanted to see where they could go with this and on How To Be A Human Being, they took this in a direction that would have been a lot more appealing to the mainstream, a lot poppier, but um, not, not in a bad way at all. In fact, I, th I think they did it well. I don't, I don't know which album I like more, but that's not something I'm going to worry about for now because How To Be A Human Being is this nice, conceptual album about human beings and different characters. I believe the band bases these tracks off of different characters that they made up. These songs are kind of telling their story. Although I feel like the first half of the album actually showcases Glass Animal's unique production style a lot better than the second half, I do like how the album as a whole presents this really human warmth to it. Like, it's, it's so welcoming. When I finished this album for the first time, I ended up replaying it a further two more times because it was just, it, it just was asking me, Ricky, come back and listen because you love this album. We, I, I know you love this album. So come back and listen. The track, Life Itself, I don't know what specific type of drums are used on this track, but I just love the sound of the drums. They've got such a tropical flavor, as well as the, the little twangy, the twangy timbres on the opening intro. Not to mention the chorus, is it's just been stuck in my head for months. Come back down to my knees. Then the second track, Youth, is, is a lot slower and is probably the most similar in style to Zaba with its glassy and watery production that just, oh, it just sounds so nice. And whenever that chorus rolls around, it's like a huge tidal wave. The third track, Season 2, Episode 3. This track in particular seems to be describing like a, a very lazy stoner who just sits around playing video games and watching TV shows, hence why the track's called Season 2, Episode 3. I love how relaxed and laid back the tempo is on this track. I also thought the little chip tune blip, 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 all over this track was a nice touch because it is describing a character who's addicted to video games and TV shows. And there, and there was this really cute lyric. My girl eats mayonnaise from a jar while she's getting blazed. On, on, the, on the track Mama's Gun, the lyrics kind of speak out about mental health, having this very haunting uh, sample from The Carpenters. The track Cane Sugar, love the beat on that, absolute fire. And you all boys know, Cane Sugar is flammable. I was kind of confused about the interlude pre-made sandwiches. It's basically like a sped up bit of audio of, of a guy just presenting this poem. Imagine like Fitter Happier from OK Computer sped up and presented from the viewpoint of a guy in line at a food court. Kind of broke the flow of the album a little bit and there was loads of flow on this album. I'm going to skip a couple of tracks because I don't want to have to ramble on for too long. But the ending track, Agnes. Uh, out of all the tracks on how to be a human being, this ending track was probably the most mainstream appealing and probably the poppiest. But I, I just love the way that the song just swells up and builds up over time and just blossoms. It just blew my mind. So whilst Glass Animals may have not focused so much on the tropical peanut butter vibes that were on Zaba, I don't think they completely lose track of it on how to be a human being. They actually only build up on this style as well as just stretch this style out into many other genres of music and keep things interesting, as well as providing a very cute, warm and colourful concept that pretty much overshadows each track on the album. I think this is potential for my favourite pop album of the year, but we'll see. Do you hear that? Oh, it sounds like a 9 out of 10 rating coming on the way. Oh, shit.